idea. One other thing to note is that uh, Seraphine is just totally ignored. Not banned yeah. nor picked. Nobody on either team wants to play it for some strange reason. She's incredibly strong right now. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I think it would have been a great pick for either team, even if you want to throw it into the mid lane. Yeah, I think the Staff of Flowing Water nerf has made Korean teams a little bit less likely to pick her because she has slipped through a few times or has been picked up very low priority. Um, and I think in this draft for Nongshim in particular, it didn't really make that much sense because they don't have any champions that are going to benefit a lot from that healing. Whereas I think I would have liked it a lot more on Gen G's side, but they go with the Zoe, which I think is much better for that front-to-back team fight. Don't have the insane engage tool that you're going to have with the charm uh, and the encore when you do go into those team fights, but you have a lot more poke damage this way. Yeah, so we'll see how Zoe for BDD will work out. It has worked out really well in the past. Well, and how good he's been on it. He's four and four on the champion. Is Rich ate that he's extra up. tower shot though. That was a little bit unfortunate. If you don't take that turret shot, you're just in such a great spot, even just, with Meganar coming up here. Yeah, you could just threaten to kill him even if you don't end up taking that shot. I mean, he's still in a nice spot, but he doesn't know about Clint. Oh, oh the flash. no. <laughs> oh, not like this. Bitch. Oh, man. Oh, that was just the most unfortunate thing I've ever seen. We have to talk about the Clid conversation now because Clid gets an early kill. He's already got his alternator online, and he's just going to be aggressive. Oh, that was a nice little dodge from Clid. He's got the blast plants. That peanut, he thought he was getting it early so that Clid would be bounced back, but actually it was perfectly setting him over the wall there to safety, and he will just be fine. Looking for the spear here. He's going to hit it, and I think he's dead again. One auto is going to kill him, and Ritz once Clint. again is just the most unfortunate player on this rift. The Clid was a sniper, 360 no scope <laughs> over the wall. Ooh. As life making a play, meanwhile. There's no flash on Duck Dom. I think he's just straight up dead here. He's going to try to dash. It doesn't matter because uh, the buildup of the passive and, of course, the Akathian Reign. Yeah. So here we are in another game where Gen G are just dominating, as this is just not going to help at all either. Uh, no. BDD's even going to BM him with a, with a sly little emote there. Didn't quite catch which one that was, but. Leap. And gets the battle, so we're gonna see Peanut try to make something happen here as well. Oh, the flash on in, and the ultimate comes through. Do they have the damage? The collateral damage will be enough, but let's see what Gen G can come in through here with the kill, perhaps onto Rich afterwards. As Peanut's like, Yeah, I'm out of here, buddy. So they choose to play those instead. As we do have a little bit of a two on one here, Rich getting caught. He's looking for that ultimate onto Rascal. Rascal actually can't get too close, and now Rascal burning down. He's going to be able to dodge that one poison, but here comes the teleport. Trying to get on top of Bade, though. He does have the damage to sweep up the Gnar, but the one spear will be enough for Clid to pick up that other kill, as BDD also able to help hunting down there onto Bay, even though Rascal did pick it up. So at the end of the day, a two for one in favor of Gen G. Yeah, that's that's the problem, right? And that's why you know, Rich is trying to make proactive. He's down two levels. He's trying to get this kill and he might be able to. Had Rascal not flashed there, that was just gonna be a straight up kill down two levels with no mythic. Yeah, we do see Clid taking down uh, Shirley here, second Rift Herald at this point in time. We have four members of Nongshim trying to gank the flashless Gnar. Uh, Rascal just trying to get to the wall here. He's not even going to hit Mega Gnar. And on the Miasma, no hope of even hopping away. So Nongshim, nice capitalization on the lack of flash there for Rascal. Rascal may be a little too overconfidently down the lane. Uh, no. Against the top laner who doesn't have flash. They it's, are gonna, back. They're, they're doubling down. Yeah. <laughs> and it's two of them. They are just bullying Rascal. They're not letting him sit in the lane. They're going to try to at least. Yeah. Peanut comes in. This is very interesting. We got double miasma now. Clit is just dead. Okay. He, he is. I don't know what Gen Z are doing, to be honest. They're just going to lose this Drake now as Rascal trying to make this happen. 2v4 at the moment. Ruler able to pick up the kill onto the relatively squishy uh, Cassiopeia at this moment in time. And you can see they're just trying to zone away Ruler as much as possible, but I feel like they've got them cornered now. Is BDD going to miss everything there? Bay trying to get on top of him now. BDD still holding that extra flash. He's got another one in his pocket, and he'll be looking to line these up as well. Nongshim seemed to have found a way out of this, to be honest, with Rascal yeah. trying to make his way over, but Genji not able to pick up any more kills, and Nongshim, they got the mountain. 
Uh, Rascal wants to delay some backs here. <laughs> they do get the mountain, and I think this was... I, I actually like Genji's idea here, but as soon as they saw the contest, they should have gotten out, especially when... I mean, they don't have vision on the other side of the pit, and I don't know... Well, maybe we'll get to see it in a replay whether they had uh, ward totems or not to check for that, but... When Rich teleports or rather flashes over like that, you can just straight up die uh, if you're, you know, just two on the Baron, so or on a Drake. So I like the idea of controlling vision here and pulling the attention away and looking for a Drake, but they stayed too long. They will get the Baron afterwards. As Peanut, well, <laughs> he's dodging everything. We got that going for him, but yeah, as you mentioned, we, we do have the ability for them to hard engage with Rich and Bay. There they go. Ooh, Bay with a really nice setup here. Is it gonna matter though? As Ruler's just able to walk away, everybody on the side of Notion not able to follow up on that very Rich nice wasn't engage. There. I thought he was nearby because I'm like, oh, if, if Bay's going in here, I mean, the follow up uh, Miasma and the damage output is actually insane if you if you make the call. But he wasn't there. That was a that was a pretty messed up uh, situation here for Nongshim where it didn't. All right, here we go. That might just be a dead snake. Able to go golden for just a moment, but then immediately just gets clapped by Ruler at this point in time. We finally see an Inferno trigger in this game, but that is going to be the first and the last one that I've seen at least. As Genji with the Baron buff, it looks like they would don't want to just push in and end the game here at around 30 minutes. Yep, they're gonna end it. One snap call from Nongshim, which would have been so much better had Rich been nearby and ready to follow up. Doesn't work out. We don't get to see them play that later part of the game. They were so near to uh, to getting to. And that's gonna be it. I mean, phenomenal game here for Gen G. Their early game as strong as ever, even without uh, the Renekton, even without the Camille Raptor. Sure. So we're gonna take a look at some of the point uh, post game stats. And some of the points here of the match, I suppose, that <laughs> will uh, show you what happened here. It was pretty slow and steady up until the end. Like I was saying, it was like Genji eventually felt forced to fight them once Nongshim started challenging them at Drake's. And Genji were kind of just taking them for granted before that. But uh, they made it happen. They just smacked them with their wallets eventually. And they did yeah. take the win. Uh, as we take a look at these drafts once again and zoom back out, remember they gave over the Renekton Nidalee, and it's a it's a hard call when you're going to go ahead and first pick the Gragas like this. Um, you know, you're going to prioritize the Gragas rather, uh, and then do you really want to, to have an AP top like that? I mean, you don't want that. There's some anti-synergy there, so it's unfortunate, but they left open the Renekton and the Nidalee and then prioritized the Gragas here instead of something like an Ornn. This is going to come back to bite Nongshim for sure. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see if they have an answer here in this game after this draft. Uh, play too often, but a pretty cute one. And here we go, Wolf. I mean, th there's there's no secret as to what's happening in this game, right? The sun is going to come oh. down. He got into the minions, though, and Rascal is just barely gonna go down so at least rich was able to trade a kill back not call that a miss uh as much as i'd call it a range issue <laughs> well, we're gonna have a nice engage here once again ruler but they're looking to turn it around the braid world does come out but now duck dom looking to change it on to life he's got the conqueror here and another engage once again trying to get onto ruler as life will look to trade it back but he can't actually kellen flashes before the auto <laughs> Like, Rich is just going to try to harass, look for this cast play, but then the Dominus is popped, so yep. ultimate's traded, and Rascal's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Just going to heal up a little bit and push this wave. Did, did not even require play-by-play -play until this moment. He's able to get in and get the auto down. Rich actually showing up here in a nice way to trade kills every single time that Clid does show up, so props to him. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for, for Peanut in particular to do damage. In some of these later fights, Rascal can do so much uh, to initiate the fights and, and be successful in pushing that damage out of the fight for Nongshim. Against Nongshim, rather. Nongshim, this is, uh, this is a little bit delayed. You're getting here a little yes. bit too late to the party. It's like you're not even fashionably late. Trying to set up and engage now, though, as life goes in and gives his life away. Does flash the wall. The cask is a little bit of a party cask. It just bops everybody back. As Genji weren't looking for any action after that anyway, so they pick up the Rift Heralds, and only life is essentially the sacrifice 
that he gives himself over to the side of Nongshin. But here we go. They're sitting on a ward, and Rascal is angry. He is just going to pop you down. Peanut, he was so fed at this point in time with CS, but it just does not matter. And Rascal will slap them, both of, of them down with the double kill. Um, it's yeah. just, you know, it's just what happens when you give him this champion as... Speaking of which, BDD showing off on his Azir as well, just a straight up solo queue here, and about 7,000 teleports come in. Whereas Rich gets pretty low, but does not actually go down. Miss on the Zenith Blade, and Kellen might be in a little bit of trouble now. He does not have his Flash, and so he's just going to sit up against the wall. Rascal uses him to actually get over the wall. <laughs> he's looking for even more kills. There's a huge death charge, finds them, and finds the range all the way down the jungle. And that is just going to be even more bonus kills to the side of Genji. Me to get the double dash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> let, let me just teleport you over the wall here as Rich says, that's our blue. You're not just allowed to take that. Uh, Genji thought they had a different idea and that it would be their blue. Rascal is just so unbelievably fed at this point in time. Can they even kill him through all of this? I'm not even sure. You know, they're trying desperately and they will eventually, but Ruler is going to have enough time to come on over. And he actually misses the kill onto Rich, but is able to pick up Kellen yes, at the end of the day. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Nice long range scatter the week there as Peanut is coming on over. As I don't know what life is. This is just. <laughs> Genji are just having too much fun. Okay, Inferno Trigger as Ruler. He does get killed in seconds. And this is finally like the first time. I'm going to have to hold that thought though, as Duck Tom is taking a lot of poke damage. And take a look at Rascal over on the left side. Peanut, he really wants to get that Dominus going as everybody on the side of Nongshin is really just trying to get over there and help out in the fight against Rascal. Doesn't actually amount to much, Rascal with the Dominus. Quite tanky in his own right. And here we go, the counter engage comes in as Kellen will take a bunch. This time life actually isn't just gonna die immediately. And as you can see, Duck Dom, he's thinking about it. Big collateral damage does come in. The Inferno Trigger, is it enough? It's not to kill Rascal at the end of the day. And BDD is able to sweep in Bay over on the top side. And also the burn goes down and gets the peanuts. And now everybody on the side of Nongshin is just trying to run away. Duck Dom looking to get in there once again. He will not be successful as over the wall goes Clid, and that will be the ace as Gen Z will look at the Baron. He, you could do at this stage of the game. Oh, speaking of which. Well, he didn't see how this one started. And BDD needs a little bit of follow up here, right? He has no extra damage, but finally we get Rascal on in. Kellen's desperately trying to kill him, but the shield comes in. He finally dies to the cask of Rich, but it's still a two for one that is set up there by BDD. The streak does get ended for the Azir, but still with the Baron buff, they'll open up some space to continue pushing. Yeah, I mean, in that last fight, you get a Baron. Oh no, <laughs> this is just a disaster <laughs> for Nongshim. Yeah. Right now? I think Duck Down might die a little bit inside. He's been trying a lot to make this game a possibility. That is a massive feather pullback from the side of Ruler. And now even Duck Dumb doesn't have anything to say. Ruler going to be able to get that last kill and he stays alive. And that is gonna do it. Looks like 27 minutes is gonna be the timer on this game as Genji will look to push and end it. Yeah, one of our quicker series this week. Genji dominance once again. The win streak continues here after being given once more oh. Rascal and Clid. <laughs> Renekton in Italy. Yeah. Just can't keep doing it. They're having their fun here at the end. Will they dive the fountain is always an interesting question in games like these. They won it, you can see, but they're just trying to bait in BDD. It was pretty even damage numbers actually across the board. Ruler did a ton, especially towards the end. As you saw that Rich actually did the most damage by far on his team, on the tank Gragas. Just a lot of trading, a lot of action on his side of the map, which ends up lending it to that kind of result. And yeah, there you have it. I mean, the, the, the damage that you're looking for with the Syndra, the Graves, and the Samira, you have to close the distance too much to actually consistently do it. And when you have this insane whirlwind of damage and tankiness that is Rassel.